Hi Fibernatics, it's Tori with Feathertail Fiber Arts and today I want to share with you my top three tips for buying raw fiber in person. <laughs> okay, tip number one. This is something that I learned very early on. When you're looking through the bags, if you're at a show or at a farm, make sure you take the top layer back. Make sure you dig into the fleece. Don't just kind of pick at the top few um, staples and kind of look at the very top of the bag and then say, yeah, it's great, I want it. You need to actually like dig down inside the bag, make sure that they're not like, you know, there isn't a whole big mountain of VM in the middle that you missed or that all the best fiber. I've actually literally had um, seen a bag where somebody put a different breed on top. Now, to be fair, this is an extreme, this is an extreme, but somebody actually put a different breed or a better fleece on the very top of the bag. And then underneath was a completely different fleece that was not nearly as nice. So you just want to be careful. And for most reputable sellers, this is never an issue, but you always want to just dig down into that bag and make sure that you have seen all the way down to the bottom of the fleece, pull it half out of the bag a little bit, really, you know, unroll it a little bit, really get into that fleece and see what you're buying. Number two, that's three. Number two is that you want to t pull out a staple. So just one lock like this. This is a Merino Rambouillet fleece. Um, pull out a staple from that fleece and test it to make sure it's sound. Now, an easy way to do that is to clamp both ends between your two hands hold it up to your ear and snap it back and forth. A healthy fleece should have a lovely little ping kind of sound. I have no idea if anybody will be able to hear that on the video. If you hear any kind of a crackling sound or the fleece just feels like it's starting to give way a little bit when you pull on it, that's a sign of an unhealthy fleece that might have a break in the staple and it's not going to be strong and easy to work with and it may produce a um, subpar yarn. I'm gonna give you one of my favorite tips for being able to tell whether something is a lamb fleece or not. Now, this is a goat fleece. Um, however, wool fleeces, wool lamb fleeces, especially long wools, are very similar to this and also have those tiny, tiny little curlicues on the end. When you see these curlicues on the end, that's a sign that it is a lamb fleece or it is the first time that this animal has ever been shorn. So you know that this is going to be probably the best fleece that that animal produces. Now I'm going to talk about something that is kind of a tip, but it's also something that I have noticed in the fiber community that I think is really something that needs to be addressed. And that is um, that getting a good deal on a fleece is important for those of us who don't have a ton of money to spend on a fleece. That being said, when you have a trusted source that really, um, that really gives really nice fleeces that you really trust, that you've had good experience with, I always pay um, a little bit more for those kind of fleeces from those sources because I know that I'm going to get good customer service. I know that it's great, beautiful fleece, and we really want to make sure that we're supporting um, the, the growers and the shepherds that are bringing us these incredible fleeces. So be careful that when you are buying a fleece that you really take into consideration um, the balance between getting a good deal and making sure that you're supporting someone who's worked really hard to create and produce this kind of a fleece. I would love to hear about your favorite fleece purchase in the comments. Also check out the description box to see my email list and my website links.